Your relationship struggles could be tied to your childhood and understanding the root of the issue can help you make the necessary adjustments. Hello, I'm Dr. Joe Laird and today I'll do a recap of the relationship struggles and attachment styles. Now in my previous videos I discussed the secure, the anxious, the avoidant, dismissive, and a disorganized attachment style. And if you haven't seen part one, two, and three, please go back and watch those videos and then come back and watch this video. Those videos will lay the foundation for this video give you a deeper understanding of what attachment styles is all about. A lot takes place from childhood to adulthood. Every experience, every trauma, every defeat, and every victory collectively has helped to create the individual you are today. And research study shows that children are shaped by their early childhood experiences and their environments. Therefore, parents, you have to be careful how you react and respond around your children because they're watching, they're gathering data, they're listening to everything you say and do. They're picking up the good and the bad. So today I'll do a recap of the four attachment styles. The secure attachment, the ambivalent or anxious preoccupied attachment, the avoided dismissive attachment, and the disorganized attachment. Starting with the secure attachment. The secure attached individual was raised by a caregiver who was attentive to their needs, comforting them when they were stressed, and spending quality time with them, helping that child to develop a secure attachment. And as a result, the securely attached child continued to develop and navigate through life, taking responsibility for their poor choices and seeking help and support as needed. Entering adulthood, they learn to appreciate their self-worth and are comfortable with expressing their feelings, wants, and desires. They are positive and they're trusting, they're loving towards their partners, and usually have no issues with jealousy because they are secure within themselves. The ambivalent or anxious preoccupied attachment individual had a caregiver who was in consistent, unaware of the child's needs, unavailable, distracted, or overwhelmed. Their relationship with the caregiver became a representation of all the relationships that followed. The inconsistency of being supported led to the child failing to develop a secure relationship, causing them to grow up feeling unworthy of love and needing constant reassurance from their partners. They develop a fear of being abandoned, rejected, or being alone. They have low self-esteem and experience bouts of distrust and jealousy. They use guilt, controlling behaviors, or other manipulative tactics to keep their partners close. Individuals with an anxious attachment style crave intimacy. The avoiding dismissive attachment style individual had caregivers who were unavailable and rejected them during infancy. The caregiver was emotionally rigid, irritable towards the infant, often displaying inconsistency or unpredictability to meet the child's needs. Children with an avoid dismissive style grow up as adults and struggle to accept emotional closeness. They value their independence and freedom and feel uncomfortable with intimacy and closeness in a romantic relationship. They withdraw from relationships and are often accused of being distant, closed off, rigid, or intolerant. They minimize their partner's feelings, engage in affairs, and keep secrets from them. They tend to seek partners who are independent like them. They rather not rely on others or have others depend on them. The disorganized attachment individual had an inconsistent caregiver who ignored and overlooked their needs. Their caregiver was seen as the possible source of fear and comfort. They may have been abusive, leading the child to become disorganized. And the most common causes of disorganized attachment styles are childhood trauma, neglect, or abuse. And as an adult, they display unstable and confusing behaviors in their relationship. They desperately want to be loved while pushing their partners away because of the fear of love. They create the same abusive patterns from childhood as adults. They are viewed as selfish, mean-spirited, insensitive, controlling, and untrustworthy towards their partners. And they may display antisocial or negative behavior patterns such as irritation, aggression, substance or alcohol abuse, or resort to violence. They also feel unworthy of love and terrified of getting hurt. Causes of insecure attachments? There are many reasons why even a loving, conscientious parent may not successfully create a secure attachment bond with an infant. The causes of the insecure attachment 
could include the following. An immature mother who lacks knowledge in parenting. Inconsistency in the primary caregiver. Frequent changes of environments. For example, the child is being adopted or placed in a foster home or they're moving from home to home, from place to place, getting evicted. Your caregiver coping with a mood disorder that caused isolation like depressive disorder or anxiety disorder. They may have neglected or provided the necessary social support from the child and withdrawal. Your primary caregiver's dependency on alcohol or substance abuse may have reduced their ability to interpret or respond to the partner's physical or emotional needs accurately. Trauma may have disrupted the attachment process because if a person has been traumatized then they're not going to tend to their child. Physical or emotional abuse, for example, your caregiver is preoccupied with his or her new relationship. They may beat the child, they may spank or holler at the child, causing trauma in the child. Separation from your primary caregiver due to being hospitalized, um, death, divorce, a number of things. So what should you do? So here's some things that you can do. The following tips can also help them transition to a more secure attachment style. To start, learn all you can about your insecure attachment or your attachment style. The more you understand, the better you'll be able to recognize and correct the attitudes and behaviors of insecure attachment that may contribute to your relationship problems. So seek professional help. Don't be afraid to seek professional assistance. There's no shame in getting help to become a better version of you. Would you like to become a better version of yourself? Talk with a professional about your childhood and how it could impact you. Now, a therapist's job is to be trustworthy, non-judgmental, accepting, calm, create a safe space for you where you can open up and share your intimate thoughts. They're not going to share with anyone else. They have a commitment to you. So once you establish that bond, a therapist can identify unhealthy and healthy thoughts and behavior patterns. You develop this relationship with the therapist, it can become a catalyst in repairing the neurons from the client to make a healthy connection in the brain. Number two, cognitive restructuring. You cannot erase old memories, but your foundation can be uprooted, which means you can be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And you have to tear down the old way of thinking and create new ones. Faulty behaviors are tied to faulty thinking. Low self-esteem and self-concept have their roots in childhood. So you must begin to identify the thoughts and feelings that's causing stress, such as how you think and feel about yourself. Where did that come from? Write down all the people who acted negatively towards you and those who did not encourage you or put you down. Forgive them for they didn't know what they were doing. Your self-concept came from somewhere. Self-esteem is rooted in your childhood. We have to help you think totally different than the way you used to think because as a person thinks, so they become. So if we can get rid of that old way of thinking and help you to build new way of thinking and new way of viewing yourself. Identify positive role models and develop relationships with securely attached people. And you can learn from anybody, especially someone who makes you feel loved which can be important in building your sense of security. Developing strong relationships with positive people that will help you, you know, create more of a positive uh, understanding within yourself, a concept within yourself. Now, early childhood experiences with your caregiver can play a vital role in your future relationships. You may find relationships to be regularly stressful or emotional or negative or unstable. Now that you understand attachment styles better, use this information to address these behaviors to improve your relationship. Now, I've included a link below so that you can take the assessment. And again, this is just another tool you can use along with the temperaments and the love language assessment videos. I hope this information has helped you. And if so, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, comment below, and share with individuals that you think it can help. Remember, the more you know, the more you grow. Life is what you make it. Today's video was just a recap, but there's more to come. So look forward to seeing you guys next time. Have a blessed life.